Kenya actually do to regulate jobs here? There's a huge unemployment problem in many low and middle income countries, and so governments are understandably reluctant to put barriers on even the worst of jobs. Uh, common regulatory uh, frameworks in a, in a planetary labor market, they seem unlikely, but let's also remember that the vast majority of work, it's sourced from just a handful of countries. So if the US, the UK, Germany, Canada, and a few other places enacted or enforced rules stating that clients need to follow the labor laws in country that they, countries that they outsource to, a lot would change. Uh, trade unions have the same issues with regards to geographically tethered work versus cloud work. Uh, there have been examples of successes of unions organizing for better working conditions in sectors like taxi driving and food delivery. Uh, we need to support those strategies. We need to emulate them. But again, with cloud work, the situation is less hopeful. I've interviewed hundreds of workers in Africa and Asia, and I've all asked them about their willingness to join a union. They know there's a massive oversupply of labor power, and they know that there are people on the other side of the planet willing to do their job for a fraction of the cost. You just cannot build an effective union under those conditions. And again, because of those limitations of both regulation and unions, that's why I think we need global standards, like the ones I was talking about a few minutes ago uh, with the Fair Work Foundation, to pressure platforms and firms to make a difference here. There are a lot of firms out there, a lot of platforms out there, that want to do the right thing. So let's encourage them with strong but realistic minimum standards and a certification process to show which platforms are and aren't acting responsibly. Thank you.